research was done to test the cardiovascular effects of alfalfa and it was discovered that the alfalfa increases HDL or good cholesterol and it reduces the build-up of fat in the arteries. Research done in Budapest on the effects of alfalfa leaf extract on diabetic patients showed that one gram of alfalfa twice per day for two weeks gave a 24% drop in blood cholesterol. Alfalfa is beneficial for people who have arthritis. It helps to neutralise the uric acid and this helps to relieve the pain. The trace minerals present in the alfalfa also assist in the body to repair and rebuild the joint tissue. Alfalfa is loaded with vitamin K and this is essential to regulate blood clotting. The vitamin K helps in the regulation of blood clotting by carrying calcium around the body. Alfalfa's anti-inflammatory action can help in decreasing arthritis. One reason for this is due to the copper present in the alfalfa. After taking it, you might feel energised and active for the entire day because it boosts your metabolism. Iron is an essential protein component for metabolism and the human body needs iron to produce red blood cells. It's also a vital element for muscle health. It can be found in the muscle tissue and it assists in providing a source of oxygen that's essential for the contraction of the muscles. Without iron, the muscles lose their tone and their elasticity. Alfalfa intake is essential to help fulfil the iron requirement. Alfalfa intake helps to reduce body fatigue and tiredness and it helps to boost metabolism. Also, the vitamin K present in the alfalfa has the capacity to increase stamina. In parts of China and Russia, the leaves are served as a vegetable. Herbal teas can be made from alfalfa leaves and the flowers and drunk up to three times per day. Alfalfa leaves, dried or fresh, are used as a nutritive tonic to stimulate the appetite and promote weight gain. Due to its oestrogenic action, it can be useful for treating problems associated with menstruation and the menopause. It was also used to treat earache in a poultice. The root is febrifuge, so it's prescribed in the case of highly coloured urine. Due to its antibacterial properties, it's used for diabetes, asthma, as well as other gastrointestinal disorders. In China and India, it was used to relieve fluid retention and to treat kidney stones. In India, it's used as a cooling poultice for boils. A cupful of a 1 to 16 dilution of alfalfa to water has been recommended to increase weight. For treating insect bites and boils, the alfalfa seeds were made into a paste. Alfalfa juice is used to treat kidney stones in traditional Chinese medicine. The root is said to control fevers and to improve jaundice. It's also used for cattle for grazing, hay and silage. It's cultivated as a livestock feed. It's planted to reduce the water runoff and soil erosion. Alfalfa is usually safe in its natural form. However, the amino acid L-canavine, which is present in the alfalfa seeds and sprouts, has been shown to trigger lupus flare-ups in patients with a history of the disease. As the herb has an oestrogenic effect, some people warn excessive alfalfa consumption might negatively affect hormone levels. It's also not prescribed to individuals with autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. Extreme overconsumption of alfalfa can result in the breakdown of red blood cells and this is an extremely dangerous condition. It should be avoided during pregnancy and breastfeeding. It can lower blood sugar levels, so if you're diabetic you should talk to a doctor and monitor your blood sugar levels if taking it. To learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.